In emergencies, money is usually the last thing on people's minds. If someone needs help, you save them no matter the cost. We have to respond. John Cunningham is the fire chief in Brooklyn Park. He's also president of the Minnesota Fire Chiefs Association. Fire chiefs across the state are, are, are struggling. Struggling, he says, to keep their stations running with increased costs and decreased funding. According to a new report from the Minnesota Center for Fiscal Excellence, Minnesota ranks 48th in the nation for fire department funding, spending nearly half as much as the average state in the U.S. And Cunningham says these days the money just just doesn't go as far as it used to. Or their jacket and their pants and their boots, you're looking at, at about $3,500. And then there's the trucks. Uh, we're seeing those, the prices are about uh, $1.2 to $1.3 million. Cunningham knows of some departments that are operating with less than $20,000 a year. So they use dated equipment and cut most of their training, putting ill-prepared and ill-equipped firefighters into dangerous situations. We need to help fix this problem. The Chiefs Association is planning a big push at the Capitol in 2020 for more funding and is working with chiefs across the state to get more funding at the local level. To tackle a crisis, they say, is only getting worse. We have to start doing it now. We, we can't wait any longer. Gordon Severson, Carol Evan News. Here's a bit more about how the funding breaks down. Minnesota is currently spending about $234 per household on fire protection services. The average state is spending nearly twice that much at $420. The only two states that spend less are West Virginia and Pennsylvania. Minnesota has ranked in the bottom 10 every year since 2012.